Certainly, we can say this, that the treatment of animals in this country is more sophisticated than the treatment of human beings in the Muslim world. Now, that, now that's a fact. Now, I'm not, I didn't read that in a book. You know, I've been all over the Muslim world. And I can say that the, that the animal rights in this country is more guaranteed and more sophisticated than the human rights in the Muslim world. So do we have something to be grateful for? Of course we do. I think I got the best part of the pie. But then I got to give something back. I don't want to leave this world and leave my children, my grandchildren, thinking to themselves that we're not Americans. I mean, am I American? You know, sometimes I'm in a mosque and I ask the Muslims, are you guys Dutch? And people look around at each other and they're actually sitting, trying to figure out whether they should say they're Dutch or not. <laughs> so what kind of mentality is that? Muslims have to own up to what's called civic, social, citizenship responsibility. And that's, just, that's not just taking, it's taking and giving. Maybe this is why people are afraid. You see, as long as Islam could be attached to some kind of uh, ethnic phenomena, you know, in America, African Americans, then white people could still feel a bit safe because it's contained, you see. Uh, as long as Islam was an ethnic phenomena in Europe, the, whether the Moroccans or the Algerians or the Turkish or whatever, as long as it could be like that, it could still be contained. But now it has broke that mold. It has produced another culture that blends with the existing culture. You see the European youth accepting Islam. And their expression of Islam will have some taints of uh, the, 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 the ethnic group, but they will develop their own identity after a certain amount of time. Sharia, as we see it, is a way towards conforming to what God has ordered. It will, regulate, it will help to regulate um, the lives of Muslims in their private uh, affairs. And that's the most that can be done from a Sharia point of view. You know, it's called, it's called family law, personal law. Uh, it's, been, it, it's, it's been applied in many Western countries before when it comes to Muslims. As a matter of fact, the Muslims are not the first ones to do that. The Jewish people have been doing that for the last 50 or 60 years. In America and in Europe, uh, they have their own uh, Talmud courts, okay, so that if there's divorces or there's issues or problems, uh, uh, it would be held within that Talmud uh, uh, type of uh, a setting. So there's nothing to fear. Uh, and there is portions of Sharia which is uh, uh, very much uh, consistent with the moral fabric of, Western, of the Western world. Uh, and so, for instance, uh, what is Sharia going to do? Are we going to stone people? No. Are we going to whip people? No. Are we going to cut off hands? Of course not.